Welcome back, Axis and Allies players. This is NATO and the CIC, and we are six turns into the Scramble for America. And currently, France and Spain are tied for first. They each got three territories apiece. Then Portugal with one, and England with zero. Um, I suppose just uh, start with England and go down the line. What's happened so far? England made their landing in New York, and they've pretty much been bottled up in in New York ever since. Uh, it's gone back and forth between. Well, I guess it hasn't really gone back and forth. Uh, England has been barely holding on to... Well, it hasn't taken New York, but... England has barely been able to maintain a presence in New York. Uh, that one flag means all that is in that one flag. As you can see, they only have one cannon left. There used to be more. Uh, the natives did completely wipe out the British in New York once. Uh, then England relanded, and they've been barely holding on ever since. The natives have been able to, under French control, have been able to keep them pretty much bottled up in New York for the entire game so far. Kind of frustrating for the British, but that's about all they've been able to do. Uh, France has been relatively successful. France landed in Quebec and also in New Orleans and they all oh, that's in New Orleans and both times they have succeeded in their diplomatic roles so when they landed in New Orleans and, and Quebec they didn't have to fight for any of it However, the natives under British control have done a, a pretty good job of keep, keeping France bottled up in uh, Quebec. So, the only reason why France is tied for the lead is because they succeeded both times on their diplomatic roles. And then they took St. Dominique, one of the Caribbean islands, but it was unopposed. So, France is tied for first place with three territories, but it didn't have to fight for any of it. Uh, native counterattacks have kept them from capitalizing on that, but... Uh, let's see. Uh, Portugal, it just... Well... Uh, it secured its first territory, Amazon, relatively early on. Uh, but then the natives under Spanish control have not allowed Portugal to break out of the Amazon territory. Uh, just the very last turn, Portugal finally pushed the natives completely out. And then Sp Spain has had a pretty roller coaster of of turns. Uh, it's done a hell of a lot of fighting. Uh, natives under Portugal's control uh, pushed Spain out of eastern Mexico pretty early on, as like the first or second turn. Um, then Spain landed in Florida. And took it and then Spain took its forces from Florida and landed it in Puerto Rico and they only like the last turn finally took that from the natives and then Spain with a second transport landed in Panama took it, but then a native counterattack completely wiped them out and the natives retook it. 
So Spain has Florida. Spain took Florida and Puerto Rico and it started the game with Cuba. So it's tied with France at three territories. And that's pretty much where we sit right now. Uh, for Spain, it's been crazy. <laughs> they uh, pretty much take a territory, but then lose a territory somewhere else. England has been having, having a hell of a time just surviving. And France has kind of gotten away scot-free so far. And then... You know, Portugal just finally secured Amazon, but that's to be expected. Their Portugal is because you only have three territories to take. Things are stacked against them game mechanically, so it's going to be a long slog slogging fest for them to whoop, for them to push out. But that's it so far, and uh, we'll come back after probably another six rounds and see where everyone's at. See you then. Welcome back, Axis and Allies players. This is NATO at the, in the CIC, and we are now 12 rounds into the Scramble for America. But before we get into that, the final wise map has come in. If you remember, the first part of it is saying... I said that the um, map, current map that I was using was missing some features. So the uh, new added features are the battle board is a little different. You'll see there's a withdrawn box and then there's a damage box on the attack and defense side. And the main feature is this box right here boarding action and captured and that all has to do with naval combat uh, which isn't a feature in the scramble for America unless it's an amphibious landing and you're doing a shore bombardment but the next scenario when we get into the seven years war and there's actual naval combat uh, we'll get into more how the special naval combat works and in conjunction with the those uh, new boxes that have been added to the map in terms of the Scramble for America, uh, there's been a pretty significant shift. Uh, France and Spain are still tied for first with five territories apiece. Uh, <clears throat> excuse me. Uh, let's see. And, but the, the biggest change is England. It went from dead last and having zero territories to second place with four territories captured. We captured New York, the Commonwealth, um, Nova Scotia, and St. Pierre Island. And then Portugal has fallen to last with one territory, um, Rio, de, Rio de Janeiro. Uh, so I guess we'll just start with England. England finally was able to take New York and then pushed out of New York and took the Commonwealth. It then it took uh, St. Pierre or sorry, it took Nova Scotia uh, without a fight. It managed to negotiate with the natives into acquiring the territory and then St. Pierre was uncontested. And the British are currently locked in a fight with the natives of New England. And for the last couple of rounds, England gets close to taking New England, but can't quite get that final dice uh, roll to drop. And then the uh, French-controlled natives just reinforced New England, so it's been kind of a stalemate. I see France. Uh, after taking New Orleans without a fight, it pushed out into Louisiana and had to fight that. And 
after three or four turns I finally secured that. But then France, using its forces from Quebec, uh, landed troops in uh, the St. Lawrence Territory and then using cavalry quick marched into uh, what will become New France and, and in conjunction with its forces coming up from New Orleans have more or less trapped its natives in a pocket uh, once New France falls the only natives left are in that pocket trapped up against the British territories so the Great Lakes, the Ohio territories and the Appalachians uh, right here, here, and here um, so and as you can see in terms of native forces that's all that's in that pocket so it's looking like there's a pretty good chance France is going to win this now f as for Portugal if you remember it originally had Amazon but the natives were able to mass pretty substantially counterattack and drove Portugal completely out of uh, the Amazons but considering the natives can't move now all that force is more or less kind of trapped up in the Amazon and then Portugal, using its command of the seas, was able to land further down south in Rio de Janeiro, which was much more lightly defended. But now they're kind of trapped in that little pocket as native reinforcements have been able to maneuver and kind of blockade them in that little bay area. Spain, they went back and forth in Panama. Uh, they took Panama, then the natives counterattacked, drove them right out of Panama, then Spain counter counterattacked and retook Panama for good this time, probably. And then um, it's kind of abandoned, at least for now, the Central Americas and has decided to focus its efforts exclusively on South America. For the time being and so pushed out from Panama into um, New Grenada uh, where they got a decisive, decisive numerical advantage and it looks like Spain's strategy for now is going to be just simply push down South America which is much more lightly defended compared to Central America which has a lot much stronger native presence and uh, Spain has more or less cleared out its Caribbean territories, so it has all of its Caribbean territories. Uh, the Far West is still more or less untouched. And that's the situation for the scramble for the Americas at the moment. Uh, like I said, France and Spain tied for first, but unless something crazy happens the next couple turns, it's looking like France is well on its way to winning. Um, unless England can uh, do something really quick, although the last couple turns it did have a massive comeback. went from dead last with zero territories to second with four in just two or three turns. So... Who knows what could happen in the in the near future? Um, and that's it for now. Uh, we'll come back probably after another six rounds if France hasn't won it by then, and give you another update to where the Scramble for Americas sits. So we'll see you soon. Welcome back, Axis and Allies players. This is NATO with the CIC. And as you can see, a lot of a lot has changed. Uh, pretty much all the European powers, except for Portugal, uh, had major breakthroughs and started gobbling up territory left and right. But 
we do have a victor. France has won the Scramble for America. It is the first one to acquire all of its printed territory, at least in the Americas. And we have Spain coming in second with 11, and then England dropping back down to third with 8. And Portugal still with 1. Uh, so, uh, England pretty much got the 13 colonies secured, and they're on their way up north to start securing the upper portions of Canada. And then Spain finally broke through in Panama, and they just basically did a sweep south, took all their South American stuff, and came back north and took all their Central America stuff, so all that Spain had left to get is basically West Coast stuff of North America. Um, the major contributor to France winning is they just got really lucky on their dice rolls. Um, they got particularly on their um, diplomacy rolls, they're able to take about half the territories without a, without a fight. And then the other half where they did have to fight, they got really good dice rolls on that and got a lot of hits. Uh, that, that was the main thing. And then um, France doing a two-pronged assault. Uh, landing in the north and, and in the south and then basically just pinching the natives in the middle uh, made it really hard for the natives to reinforce and counterattack and that's about it um, like I said it has uh, no bearing on the future games this is just a tutorial just to, for new players to teach the basics and if you're an experienced player just a what a, just a whatever pickup game if you wanted. So next, probably next week, uh, we'll set up for the first real scenario, the Seven Years War, or as it's known in the United States as the French and Indian War of 1754. And even the even though it's called the Seven Years War, it really lasted for nine, but. That's semantics. Uh, and then we'll, I'll explain the new naval combat rules because that's been completely overhauled and much more complicated now. Um, but other than that, uh, Scramble for America is over. And we will reset for Seven Years' War. Uh, see, you, see you then.